Um, let's uh, turn to something that's a little bit more uh, disturbing coming out of the White House, and that is uh, this guy, Hogan G uh, Gidley, right? Yep. <clears throat> if I remember this guy, Hogan Gidley, he was... Um, I don't know if he was Rick Santorum. He was. He worked for somebody else in the primary. I can't remember who it was, and I'm I'm quite sure he worked he for Santorum at least in one primary. Yeah. So I, he was in 2012. He was the main Santorum uh, talking right. points guy. And uh, here he is on the uh, on MSNBC, and part of the reason why I think the um, White House does not feel obligated in any way to provide a support for Puerto Rico. Part of it is that uh, Donald Trump doesn't like the mayor. Part of it is that he doesn't feel they vote for him. And part of it is they just don't consider them Americans. They just, um, the, the, it just runs contrary to their perspective of who should be Americans and who should not be Americans. And it is not just Donald Trump who feels this. It, it, they, it infuses the, I'm convinced, the entire White House. They all share this, this, this. That's how they all have. That's why this guy's been there since day one and he's still there. Common bonds. They have a common bond, a common perspective on who is a real American and who's not a real American. And uh, Hogan Gidley just... Just if you don't focus on this stuff, sometimes some of the, uh, the truth seeps out. Is they have received more money than any state or territory in history for rebuild. That's not true. A hundred percent. There is nowhere that's Louisiana even got more after that hurricane. They have that's not, not, that's not a true They have fact. not come to $91 billion with all we've done in that country. They have had a systematic mismanagement. I'm sorry, all we've done in what? Can we go back a little bit? Louisiana got more after that hurricane. They have not that's not, that's not a true They have fact. not come to $91 billion with all we've done in that country. They have had a systematic mismanagement of the goods and services we've sent to them. You've seen food just rotting in the ports. Uh, their governor has done a horrible job. He's trying that to make country. political... The that country. Well, I agree. So it's time to immediately decolonize them, leave the occupation... Uh, and allow them to govern their own economy. I mean, you know what's so depressing and sickening about it is that Puerto Rico is a literal colony, obviously, and if the United States actually stopped colonizing them, we would still financially colonize and terrorize them the way we do the rest of the Caribbean and Latin America. So it's two orders of colonization, but it is incredible to actually go to a place that it's like, like, is Haiti essentially a colony of the United States and Canada? Yes. But it's functionally, still extra functionally, functionally right. it is. It's just still mind blowing to actually be in a place where it's just like, no, that just is. It's a colony. Right. We're not even. We don't. We're not saying that it's functionally. Yeah. Uh, we're not. We're not just here to be exploited. We're actually literally like we just. That's, that's what, what we're we called. do. And if you're lucky, we'll stop testing weapons on one of your islands uh, and and accidentally killing people. And um, yeah, that, I that mean, that could bring economic activity though. Right. I mean, they need to. I, look, I think, you know, ideologically, I support Puerto Rican independence, but at the very bare minimum, every single Democrat, for even very crass reasons, needs to campaign on giving them full states' rights. Absolutely.